Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, FF Analytics. My name is Francis Polaroni. I'm a Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst. On this channel, we are going to be exploring the world of data analytics, especially with Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. So if you are interested in this kind of content, please do wait to subscribe, like, and also share with your friends that are also interested in this kind of content. So today I'll be introducing us to Microsoft Fabric. Come with me. Microsoft Fabric, everything you need to know. So I'm working us through the introduction, architecture, misconception, then enabling fabric and resources to get you started. Fabric or fabrics. If your answer is fabrics, then you are a fashion designer. Else, you are an analytics fabricator. Friends, so it is Microsoft Fabric. So what is Microsoft Fabric? Microsoft Fabric is an end-to-end -end analytics platform that provides a single integrated environment for data professionals and the business to collaborate on data projects. Let me break this down. Now, you can see that we are saying is for collaboration on data projects. Who are people that will be collaborating on data projects? Of course, your data professionals. Who are data professionals? Your data scientists, your data engineer, and your data analyst. And maybe analytics are engineer also. And the business, these are the business, these are the stakeholders, the non-technical people that are working with on every data project. It's also talk about the fact that it provides a single and integrated environment. What that means is that before now, there are multiple environments that are not even integrated for data projects. So this is actually the exact problem that Microsoft is trying to solve here. When you are using multiple platforms and environments for your data project, they can be very overwhelming, they are difficult to manage, and of course they are expensive. But with a single environment, that means you can actually do all of your projects here, eliminating all those problems that I had highlighted. Public provide a set of integrated services that enable you to ingest, to store, process, and analyze data in a single environment. Oh, very interesting. That means you can do your data ingestion, your data storage, your data processing, analyze data in this environment. So this is the architecture of Microsoft Fabric. It has been called the data platform of the era of AI. Now, why is this a very big one for us? Now, apart from the fact that the interface is very friendly and it is low code, you can actually expect that Copilot is going to be integrated into Microsoft Fabric and then it's going to be a very seamless experience. On the Fabric architecture, we have about seven experiences ranging from your data factory to Synapse Data Engineering, Synapse Data Science, Synapse Data Warehousing, and then Synapse Real Time Analytics, Power BI, and Data Activator, which is still in private preview. All of these experiences are sitting on one leg. One leg is like OneDrive of Office 365, but this time it is for data storage. One leg is that singular storage that every experiences on Fabric are going to be plugging in to get their data. This way, your data engineer, your data scientist, and then your data analyst can access the same copy of data, and then data duplication and redundancy will be completely eliminated. Now, what are the misconceptions surrounding Microsoft Fabric? It is not a desktop application. It is actually a SaaS platform. That means software as a service. With software as a service, that you just need your PC and your internet connection to access Microsoft Fabric. And again, you don't have to be an expert data engineer, an expert data analyst, or an expert data scientist before you can actually work on Microsoft Fabric. Every data professional can come with their skill set and work on on, on Microsoft Fabric since we are collaborating for data projects. Now, how do you enable Microsoft Fabric? If you go to app.powerbi.com, that is going to land you on the home page of Power BI. That is Power BI service. But you can actually switch from Power BI experience to Fabric experience. Or you can go through the route of app.fabric.microsoft.com. This is going to give you the complete Fabric experience from where you can now select the experience that you are interested in. Power BI is just one of the experiences of Microsoft Fabric. So either route that you are taking, you are going to be able to use Microsoft Fabric. Now, these are the resources that you can use for Microsoft Fabric. There is an official documentation that is already existing for Microsoft Fabric. So I'll be dropping the link to documentation in this video and also end-to-end -end tutorials that can get you started on Microsoft Fabric. So where do you start from? If you are a data scientist, if you are a data engineer, or you are a data analyst, of course, keep learning what you are learning, and then with your skill sets, you can actually bring all of them to Microsoft Fabric to collaborate on data projects. So, on our next video, I'll be showing us a demonstration using 
using an end-to-end -end use case of data scientist, a data engineer, and a data analyst. So if you are looking forward to this video, don't forget to, to, to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. So until next time, friends, I see you. Bye.